All right, what is going on, everybody? Today, as you can see, we're doing something a little bit different, and uh, I have this empty bean bag here because I'm gonna have a guest on, and we're gonna talk about a little topic that we find very important to us creatives, photographers, filmmakers. So, without further ado, let's welcome my boy Evan Cabral. Dude, dude, wrong, wrong one. Oh, there he is, dude. My bad. Must that was have, better. Must have snapped the wrong finger there. I was in the middle of a jam sesh. Hopefully that came out good. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I don't welcome you guys back enough. Maybe I should welcome him back. Yeah, what do you think? I think so. Guys, welcome back to Mac's channel. Welcome back to my channel, guys. Today, we're doing something a bit different. As you can see here, me and Evan are uh, sitting in two... Bean bags. We're the Bean Bag Boys today. That's it, man. That's, we're just that's the new name. We're the Bean Bag Boys. We're coming at you guys with this little topic that you know we've been talking a lot about between the two of us, and we think it's very, very important for you know creatives in the community and photographers, videographers, filmmakers, whatever you classify yourself as an artist, a painter, whatever. If you're some sort of creative, you should be gassing up your friends, other people in your community, people that you follow on social media, Instagram, Facebook. Twitter, TikTok, whatever, like who cares? If you follow other creatives, gas each other up. Even if they don't even know who you are, gas them up. It's insanely, insanely important to be doing that with each other. And um, me and Evan do it all the time. I think it's really important when you gas up people that you don't know, though, because I feel like it's really easy to gas up your friends. And if, you, I mean, guys, if you have friends that are, you know, run a business or, shoot photos or, or do video or it, it, it really doesn't even matter what they do they could be a teacher they could they could literally do anything gas them up gas tell them, them that up. they're great at what they do yeah what do so what are we talking about when we say gas up your friends like just give them some positive vibes that's it man like it, it doesn't even have to be like provoked or anything like if, if you see someone post a photo on instagram or a video or if you heard someone got a promotion or this person won this award, like just gas them up and like give them like positive comments. Positive comments, good energy, good vibes, man. You know, when you, when I post a photo on Instagram, right? Let's, let's use ourselves for example here, because I think this will be the easiest way for us to explain this. Yeah. When Evan posts a photo on Instagram, I always, always comment on his photo and I share it to my story. So that way there, my followers can see Evan's work. Even though my followers may not know who Evan is, that's why I'm doing it to kind of promote his work to the people that follow me because we don't have the same followers, you know? And when I'm dropping that comment on his photo, I'm not just dropping three fire emojis and, you know, like a tongue out emoji. I'm actually dropping some sort of comment that I've thought about, you know, like I took two minutes out of my day to say, dude, sick photo, great composition, the lighting's dope, keep killing it. You know, it's so easy to just drop those fire emojis or whatever emojis and put no effort into the comment itself. And Evan knows that when he gets those emojis on his pics, then those people really don't care. They're just doing it to kind of comment, which is better than no comment, I guess, at the end of the day. So I guess sometimes. Yeah. I've seen a lot of people who literally just do like fire emojis or, yeah. or the thumbs up emoji. And I don't know. To me, there's, it's like, don't comment. Yeah, if if you're I'd, gonna, I'd rather see like you actually put together like some thoughtful words. Right. If you're gonna comment on the photo, make it make it count, man. Just take those extra two minutes to put together an actual sentence that whoever posted the photo. So if I put together that sentence, when Evan sees that comment, he'll be like, "Wow, Mako actually put some fucking thought into that, and it made me feel good." You know, it wasn't just like some bullshit comment. Yeah, like actual composition of words and sentences that like can actually make you feel a certain way instead of like, bam, 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 like fire. Like that doesn't do anything for anyone. Actually say something about it, like Mako just said. Find something in the video, the post, the photo, and actually explain how it made you feel and what you like about it. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Don't just, don't just BS it. It's easy to BS your entire life on social media, right? And I think it's very important for us in the creative space to be very personal and open with our followers. So that way there we kind of grow a better connection with each other. And 
it's not just Evan, you know, that I'll take the time and comment a photo on. Even guys that I don't know, girls that I don't know, if I like the photo that they post, I'll drop a comment, you know, or I'll DM them personally and be like, hey, that last photo you posted was absolutely insane. I really loved how, you know, you framed up the subject on the left or on the right or whatever. You get the hint. And then it sparks a little bit of a conversation there between the two of you. And now you just made one more connection to somebody that you don't know who is now considered a social friend on an acquaintance. Yeah, like on Instagram. And you're just networking. Yep, and then you start networking, you start growing your following and who knows if they didn't follow you before that comment, they could say, "Wow, this person actually just took the time to comment on my photo. Let me go see what their page is about." And if you're a smaller page like us, we only have like, I don't know, 2000-ish followers. Yeah. If if we comment on a bigger page, you know, somebody with more followers, and then they go and see our page and they're like, "Wow, these two kids are actually killing it. They could drop a follow back and mention you on their page. And then that could just lead to more people finding you and then following you. And then now your audience is growing. So it's just super important to be gassing people up all the time for all of these beneficial reasons. Just keep the good vibes going. No negativity. You know what I mean? There's too much negativity in the world as it is. So especially with all this COVID stuff. Yeah, this is absolutely insane. This time that we're going through and you know, it's been really hard during this time, specifically for us. I mean, for me personally, I've been finding it really hard to get motivated. And, Very hard. Um, you know, the last month, I noticed that Evan actually found a little bit of a uh, depression slide. A little bit. It was, it was tough. Everything was kind of going the wrong way. Uh, a little insight into my life, obviously – uh, as as freelancers, we're, we're pretty much unemployed at this point. And then we had a really bad windstorm, and a tree fell on my car. So now I don't have a car. And it really just felt like everything was, like, going just the wrong way yeah. for whatever reason. But what sparked me was about two weeks ago, I don't know, Mako hit me up, and we just had, like, a little talk, and, and I just – he gassed me up. And I, I'm literally, like, right back to where I want to be creating again posting on instagram again posting on youtube again and i don't know i'm just uh, dude i'm ready to go and and that's that's really all it takes and i mean me personally i'm the type of person that i can gas my friends up no problem but then when i look in the mirror i can get lazy really quick and easy and i it's hard for me to hold myself accountable but i can look at evan and be like dude you haven't posted anything in like a month you haven't been out to shoot at all. Like, what's your deal? And then I'll go and look in the mirror and be like, bro, you haven't done that either. <laughs> you know? So. But that's why you have me. But exactly. That's why I have you. And that's why we build together, you know, a a good relationship where we're gassing each other up constantly. And it's not just me and you. You know, we got other boys in our group mm-hmm. that are constantly gassing each other up. And some of the guys that we know that gas each other up with us, we don't even like we've never even met them in person. I haven't met a lot of people who comment on my like Instagram posts and whatnot. And like these are like consistent people commenting every time. Right. So I mean honestly, as much as it is a positive thing to have like friends who do it, it's honestly it, it feels a little bit different when people who you've never met before, people who you don't even know, are literally taking the time out of their day to say some kind words on your posts. I think I think those are probably some of the best things that you can do oh, during the day. And honestly, dude, what, is, what are you guys doing right now? What is everyone doing right now? You're probably at home. You're probably scrolling through your phone. 100%. You have plenty of time to think of some some positive words for, for a few people on Instagram. That's mm-hmm. all it takes. Yep, a few people on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, whatever. Just drop that comment, take the time, and just try not to be negative. It's so easy to be negative and just put people down and... You never know what somebody's going through in their personal life, so try not to be negative unless unless people are asking for it. You know what I mean? Like constructively. Right. In all of my YouTube videos at the end of the video, I give people the option to like the video and drop a comment, and then I say, you know, if you didn't like the video, let me know why in the comments down below because I get better with constructive criticism and I know how to take criticism. You know, some people don't know how to take criticism and if they're not asking for it, they probably don't want it. So you also ask them uh, – no, you don't ask them. You also tell them, if you don't like it, hit the thumbs down yeah. button, which I think is absolutely hilarious. No, but seriously, like, 
I want to know. I want to know how many people don't like my videos. I want to know why they don't like my videos. Yeah. And then if I can solve that problem of why they don't like the videos, you'll get better. Then I'm. It's gonna make me better, and then it's gonna expand my audience, and just more people will grow with me. So, the moral of the story here about gassing up your friends and other people is to just keep the positive vibes flowing. No negativity. Too much negativity in the world. Way too much. Creating content should be fun. Creating anything, if you're any sort of artist, creating music, painting, sewing, whatever you're doing, you should be having fun with it. So, And I think one of the most important factors of being a creator is having fun putting your work out to the world. Mm -hmm. In order to make that fun for certain people, you know, you have to give people feedback. And you have to tell people that their shit's gas. 100%, man. Just gas them up. Why, why else do you post on Instagram? You obviously want feedback of some sort. So it might as well be some some kind words and, and some positivity. You know, it's funny. When I post on Instagram, and sometimes I'll post on Instagram, and I'll know it's a good, like a dope photo or like a dope video. Yep. And it gets no comments and no feedback. And I'm like, what What the heck is going on? <laughs> like, where where's the love? The algorithm. Yeah, and then I that's it. Then I just blame the algorithm. It's easy to play the blame game, but I mean just, that's that's what I would do. Yeah, just gas people up, guys. That's all you gotta do. Just gas them up, even if you don't know them, even if you do know them, even if you hate them, even if you don't like the freaking photo, just gas them up. You know, somebody seeing that comment of kindness can really go a long way, and it can literally change a person's mood and change their entire day. You know, it could, you could turn someone's entire day around without even knowing it. Absolutely. So, Especially if they're having a bad day. Yeah. I think it's very important in the creative space, especially us photographers and filmmakers, to be positive with each other, grow with each other, and don't be so negative, man. Cut that shit out. That's it, man. Cut it out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, we hope that you took something away from this. This if, was fun. Yeah, I mean, if not, if you didn't take anything away from it, then you just wasted probably about like 15 minutes of your life watching and or listening to this. But hopefully that's not the case. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully not. If you guys like the video, then make sure to hit the like button. Don't smash it because you might break your phone. You might break your finger even. So be careful when you do that. Yeah. Wait, don't tell them to smash it. I said I told them not to smash it. Gently tap it gently caress it well now we're getting sexual all right if you like the video just like it whatever if you didn't like it drop a thumbs down you know let See? us know let us know that you didn't like it and uh if you have any comments questions concerns or other topics that you would want to see me and evan here sitting and talking about make sure to let us know down below hit us up on instagram make sure to go follow evan subscribe to his channel follow him on ig Gas him up a little bit. Gas me up. I'll gas you right back up. 100% he will. If you gas me up, I'm sending gas right back. He's the gas man. I'll pump you gas. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, who knows? This might be a new segment on the channel. This might turn into some sort of podcast down the road. You know, we might have guests on. Who knows? Who knows? Let us know what you guys thought about it, and um, we'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Peace. That was, that was pretty good, dude. That was I liked it. I'm going to talk with this thing in front of my face for the rest of my life. I like it. I feel like I'm reporting very important news <laughs> that the Beanbag Boys are in business. Big facts, homie. Biznatch. Dude, nobody knows that these are socks. Guys, these are socks. <laughs> Guys, honestly, comment down below if you knew that these were socks. Right here on top of these zooms. And no show socks. No show socks. To be socks. exact. They're it, actually the socks that. Same socks I got on my feet right now. You know what? You can't see them. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>